cual Tienen moña, tienen feria Y mentira que al final Ellos tan, 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 tan a otro nivel So what's up guys, this is Gabby from Team Death Note, TDN back at it again. And I'm over here with a Janimba deck, not the male one, but this one is actually pretty good. He has burst two when he attacks. You take the top two cards of your deck, put into the drop here, and you get to draw one card. When your life is at four or less, you get to flip him over and you get to untap two energies. Now, his backside is actually very, very interesting because he has the effect that um, sparking five. If you have five cards or more in your drop area, he gets plus 5,000 when he attacks. He draws and he gains crit. So that's actually very, very crazy. He will be a 20k crit leader every time he attacks and he draws one card. Then on top of that, you have an activate main where you can discard a card from your hand. And every time your opponent plays a counter play, such as like Bloodlust and um, Crusher Ball, etc., etc., he has to discard three cards from his hand just to activate that counter play. So this card is actually very, very strong. And let me show you how this deck actually revolves. So we're going to be playing the whole um, Janimba Ride Chain or um, or however you want to call it. Um, we're going to play the one drop Psyche Demon rocking out. He has a ability that when he, you play him out to the battle area, you get to check the top seven cards of your deck for Janimba and add it to your hand. Or you can check the bottom card of your deck for Janimba and add it to your hand. Um, so... The next one is four childish heart Janimba. He is a three drop. He has evolve for two on top of psych, and he has barrier. So that that that's actually very good. And he has the ability tap one. You put this card at the bottom of your deck. Search your deck for a four drop um, Janimba, and you get to play him out onto your battle area. So basically, you want to um, turn one, call him out, search for him. Um, turn two, you tap two. Um, evolve him on top of the Psychic Demon. Um, then you will swing with him for 19. If you have it unyielding, you can just do unyielding, untap one, swing for 24. Then you'll tap one, send him at the bottom of the deck, and get a four drop and swing again. So that's actually very, very, very crazy because it becomes very aggro. The next Janemba we're going to be running is um, three Reality Bender Janemba. Um, just because this guy is actually very good. He has Deflect and he has Critical. And this is one of the cards that you could get from Childish Heart Janemba. So that will pretty pretty much be your turn too. You will swing with him, then call him out and swing with him with Crit. Um, he has the ability that um, if your opponent has four cards or more and this card is in your hand, you can reduce his um, energy by three. So he'll become a one drop as long as you have no cards in your battlefield and your opponent has one or more. And then at the end of the turn, you, you place him at the bottom of your deck, and your opponent has to discard the top two cards of his deck into the drop area. The next Janimba we're going to be running is Phantom Strike Janimba. He has a four drop as well, so he could be um, get surged by Childish Heart Janimba as well. He has Critical. He has um, two auto abilities. The second one is to Activate Main. This is the one that we're going to activate first, saying you send this card into the warp, and you can choose a five-cost Janimba from your hand. You can play it. Then his auto kicks in, saying that when this card is sent from the battle area to your warp, you choose one of your opponent's cards and you actually get to warp them. So he also removes somebody off of your opponent's field, which is actually good. And the five drop that we're going to be playing is Infernal Chain Janimba. Four of him, because he has 25k, he has crit as well, auto, you can only play him once per turn. And his effect is, um, after you attack with him, you get to um, put this card at the bottom of your deck, Search your warp for a four drop Janemba and actually play him again. So after you swing with him, you get him from your hand and you play swing with him, put him at the bottom of your deck and you get him from the warp again and you play him out and you swing for critical again. Now, at this point, you uh, um, after he goes at the bottom of the deck, you warp him again and get the five drop right back into your hand. Because um, let's say if you have another um, you have another Phantom Strike, then you will be securing yourself for the next turn. Now, if you have a Psychic Demon rocking out, you can um, tap one after that, call out Psychic Demon, and get the three drop back to your hand if um, that's what you want to do. <laughs> and next on, we are going to be running four um, Inspiring Intimidator SSB Vegito. 
You can run the um, Deadly Defender if you want to. It's all up to your choice, or you can run both in the deck. He is here because he is a 20k. Um, even during your opponent's turn, he is a 20k. It says here if you have five or more energy, you actually get to draw a card as well. He has Barrier. And um, when he's in rest mode, your opponent cannot attack your leader card. Um, you can only attack him. So he is actually very good. And in this deck, once you're at four energy, you can just tap out, go into him. If you're at four life, you can just awaken, untap two, and you can just keep your options open. We'll be running four unyielding spirit trunks just because, you know, you want to um, have a card that can make you untap to keep on furthering your plays within this deck because it's all about keep on swinging great say your man town hero for the super combo because in this deck very very early you can actually go into super combo plays and start drawing and start acting as aggro as you want now we are playing two awakening talent pan and that is just to the point that if you um want to push a little bit more or you see yourself at five life you want to awaken that turn Pan can come out, yank a life, swing for 15, and then at the end of the turn, she'll come back to your hand, and that's where we are running two. We are running three, Kami Global Unifier. Now, why three Kami? Kami, he goes out there, and he is actually good for those deadly defenders. If your opponent has four, battle cards are more on his side of the field. You can actually um, tap two, and you can destroy all of your, um, on both sides of the fields. And it, um and he goes ignoring barrier, but there has to be four drop or less. So he's good for the daily defenders. And on top of that, you tap one, you call him out, and you get to draw a card. Now, on your turn one, if you don't have Psychic Demon, you can go into Kami Global Unifier, tap one, call him out, draw a card, use flute, bounce him back to your hand, draw another one. Then you can swing with the Janimba, burst two, discard the top two, draw one. If you have a um um a unyielding trunks. You can combo, untap one, tap another one, hit Kami and draw another one, which would be four cards in your hand on turn one if you went second, which is actually very good. We are running three further in destruction Champa because there's a lot of crit going on in this deck, and you want to hit for double strike, especially since your leader is actually swinging for 20k crit as well. Two Infernal Villainy Cell, just because you get to tap one, draw a card, and it's 10k. Good for your Vegito or good when you're pushing for game. He's actually very good. We are playing one Legendary Flute. I already told you why. <laughs> we are playing for Sensu Beans. That's for defense or offense when you're going for game, especially for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito to put him from 20 to 25 and keep on on tapping and stuff like that. And for Dimension Magic, which would be your negate. If you at Sparking 5 and you're tapped out, you can just use him for free by yanking one life and you untap two blue energies. So yeah, guys, this is my Supreme Evil Janimba deck. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And this is going to be from Team Defno, and peace out. Que lo que es fortuna.